Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Nomad and to my last video from my 30 looks in 30 days from on the road here in Cuba. I've lived in Havana for a few months in total now and have absolutely fallen in love with this city and its culture and its people. So for my final video, I thought I would do a look that was inspired by something really quintessentially Cuban, the cigar. When I was browsing in some of the art markets in Old Havana, I discovered these little cards with retro photos of Cuban pinup girls that they used to tuck into old cigar boxes back in the day. Um, basically to entice men into buying more and collecting all the pictures like they were basically like erotica light from back in the day so I've decided to do this retro pinup um, inspired look but base it on makeup techniques that I learned to do for black and white photography because a lot of the cards were shot in black and white and keep things pretty simple and contrasted it's actually the look that was featured all the way back when I did my intro video for this travel makeup series if you haven't already checked it out you can do so here or in the link in the description box but anyways without further ado you, let's jump right into this last tutorial for now. So to begin, I'm going to even out my skin tone. Ideally, I would be doing this with a matte full coverage foundation, but since I can only use what I have in my travel makeup bag, um, I'm using my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in Sand, which is slightly lighter than I am at the moment, but um, that'll work out nicely for a black and white photo look. And I will build up the contrast with concealer next. So I'm grabbing my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger and creating a nice large triangle of brightness under my eyes to really reflect light and bring out the high parts of my face. Because with black and white photography, you obviously aren't picking up on subtle changes in color hue, um, you almost have to over exaggerate contrast points and make them really obvious so they pick up on camera. And I'm going to make sure to conceal any dark marks with a thicker pan-like concealer. Uh, this is the Secret Camouflage Concealer from Laura Mercier SC05. You want the skin to look like a flawless canvas in black and white photography so that you can lay other gradient contrast colors over the top. So to really seal things in and create that flawless finish I was just talking about, I'm going to layer some Bare Minerals Original Powder over the top of everything. If you've been following my makeup um, series from on the road here in Cuba this past month, you would notice that I haven't ever put this many complexion products on my face before, uh, but for black and white photography, I want to make sure everything is really matte and flawless. Now it's time to start carving out those contrast points with the bronzer so they really stand out on camera. Here I'm using my handy Stila Stay All Day bronzer in medium and my Ida brush from NARS. By the way, I was trying to make my camera have a more vintage looking filter since it doesn't have a setting to make it go black and white. Um, and that's why things suddenly look a little bit more sepia tone now. I haven't darkened my skin or my complexion products or anything. It's just I was trying to go for this whole retro look. So I'm really working that bronzer under my cheekbones, down the sides of my nose, all the places you normally would contour, but with a heavier hand than I normally would. Next I'm going to create some strong defined brows. If I was doing a genuine retro pinup look, I would probably really change the shape of my brows, but this is just taking a bit of inspiration from that time, so I'm not too fussed. Plus again, I'm on the road with a very limited number of products, so I'm just using what I've got. I'm going to keep the eye makeup really simple because in theory any color wouldn't really show up on black and white film anyway, but shimmer and contrast would come through. So I'm just patting a wash of my Living Luminizer, which is a coconut oil based highlighter, over my lids with my finger and I'm going to pop it into the inner corners as well. This will just create brightness across the lid and make it look bigger. Hello, 
Next, I'm actually just grabbing my bronzer again and going in with a fluffy brush to create shape and dimension around the crease. This is actually really basic makeup 101 techniques here, but it's really effective on camera and for black and white film, it's all you need. I'll finish off with creating definition right at the lash line with a thin liquid liner and get some mascara on those lashes too. So that's the eye makeup sorted. Um, I'll just keep building up that definition in the crease to really make sure it's contrasted nicely. And then I'm going to grab some of that coconut oil based highlighter again to put um, on my brow bones and on other high points of my face because shine and texture like that will really pick up on camera, especially since everything else is so matte in this look. And finally for the lips, I'm using this opaque matte red lippy from Illamasqua called Box. It's really high impact. I started to outline my cupid's bow um, in a more rounded shape with this, but then I decided that since the color wouldn't show up on black and white cameras anyway, um, but a gradient shade change would, I would use a black eyeliner to outline my lips first. I did this once for a 1920s Great Gatsby themed costume party I went to once and it worked a treat to create this really black cherry lipstick look. So what you want to do is outline your lips with your black liner and then and make sure it's obviously a, a pencil liner so it can be blended out and then really fill out the outer edges of your lip with it because it will make the color look darker when you layer the red over the top. So as you can see, once the red starts to mix over the top of the black, it turns into this much deeper, richer color and kind of uh, ends up going a bit more ombre and lighter red towards the center where there was no black um, eyeliner slash lip liner uh, laid down before. Now with the lips on, I think I can actually get away with a bit more blush on the cheeks. So I'm grabbing my NARS blush in Tao and giving it a good sweep across um, the apples of my cheek with a fluffy brush just to create a nice gradient flush. And there you have it, my retro Cuban pinup look inspired by those racy Cuban cigar girls from back in the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have enjoyed this entire series of makeup looks from on the road that I've been filming over the last month. I can't wait to get home to Canada and actually upload them online. I've learned a lot about filming and making these videos as I've been creating them for you guys. I never realized all the elements that go into making makeup tutorials before, so once I'm home I'm going to share whatever insights I've learned in a video uh, if you're interested or if you happen to be new to YouTube yourself and are looking to see how it's gone for somebody else who's new. So look out for that in the future and also for my next series of travel videos which will be from Canada and then from down under in Australia after that. This channel isn't called Beauty Nomad for nothing. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my new series. For now, it's Chow from Havana. Bye!